I've been teaching improv and, and comedy for 24 years now. I've never once taught anybody how to be funny. Yeah. I can't, it's impossible. You have a sense of humor and you can hone it if you follow these principles. Mm. Same, same thing with, you know, business. Yeah. These principles that, that we teach uh, in comedy sports to have people do, you know, get up and entertain people. Um, it's the exact same principles that we use, you know, in the corporate setting. Yeah. That people use, like you and I, hey, do you think you could do improv in front of people and and be successful at it? Like right now, Hayden, do you, do you think you could get up in front of people and do it? I mean, I'd like to think that I'd have a decent shot at it, mostly well, because uh, uh, in my friend group, I'm the one that's known for being <laughs> able to say uh, things that are unexpectedly witty that make people laugh. Yeah on the spot but like in terms of process of knowing what that would go into that uh i don't think that i'd be able to be very good at it well, let right, me tell you right away you and i have improvised this entire conversation so far and you've done great <laughs> you haven't failed <laughs> you. once and that's what we teach you know in a corporate setting hmm. have you been once afraid of failing in this conversation no in no. fact i think that's one of the reasons why i really love hosting podcasts is because I actually like the fact that it has failure baked into it the whole time. It's like, it's not scripted. I mean, this, yeah. you know, coming into this, that's why I was texting you. Like, I really like doing these unscripted because they just are better. You well, know, that's people all love them. That's all my entire career has been. That's and awesome. That's learning how to not be afraid of failing. Mm. And that's all I've ever taught people down at comedy sports, how to do And that's fail quick. Yeah. And learn how to be a, a successful failure. That's what I teach in the corporate setting. Yeah. You need to learn how to fail quickly. Hmm. And because what we do is our minds relax once we know we're going to fail, but we're going to be okay. Um, some, uh, a preface to that. Somebody asked me a long time ago, what, what, what makes you think you're so funny, Kurt? And one, I was like, Ooh, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, um, a fact that I can play the clarinet. I can play flight of the bumblebee on the tuba. <laughs> and not many people can. That's impressive. Though. That's uh, my, my flight comedy. of the bumblebee on the tuba. I did that in college. Yeah, there you go. Um, but he, I said, let me get back to you. And about, about a week later, I said, I've got the least sexy answer for you about why I think I'm funny. And that is. I've failed so much that I make connections. Mm. Um, my, my mind has I have failed in front of every single audience I've gotten up in front of. I've, I've failed at, at, at something. Um, I, I will mess up the, the pre-show speech. I'll, I'll, I'll mess up calling something, but I've done it so much, but I've survived it every time that my mind now relaxes. And when we're relaxed, we can make the connections to the things that are familiar and to the things that are probably like higher level comedy things that, yeah. uh, people can, you know, resonate with. Mm -hmm. If I were to say, Hayden, tell me a joke right now, your suggestion is going to be, um, produce. And go right now, say, say, say something funny. Just go. Say, Produce. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people will sit there and go, uh, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't, they just put this pressure on themselves.